everyone. I'm taking my dog Ruby from India to Australia. I first met Ruby when she was four years old. I met her last year. She was probably one of the smartest and most adorable puppies, or she wasn't a puppy then, one of the most smartest and adorable dogs I ever met. So I thought I would bring her all the way from India to my house in Canberra. In this video, I'm just going to talk about how I'm doing it. I'm doing this video to help everyone if, in case you guys want to do the same thing with your pets. It's a very long process. It takes, it's going to take me six months and it's going to cost me 20,000 Australian dollars. But I want to break it down just to make it simple for you. So hope you enjoy. First thing you've got to do uh, if you're thinking of bringing your pet from India to Australia is you've got to understand that India is not an approved country. Australia only has a certain list of countries that are approved and India is not one of those. So I'm taking the dog through Singapore, but you can also take it through other countries which are approved, like for example, France or Malaysia. Now, the second thing you've got to do is you've got to check that your dog isn't a banned breed. So my dog is a Labrador Retriever and certain breeds, however, like for example, the American Pitbull are banned. The third thing you've got to do is you've got to microchip the dog. I've just come to India for a month. I'm planning to do all the uh, things that are required, which I can do here for a month. So for things, for example, like microchipping, you've got to choose a vet. It seems like they're very experienced. So you can look at the online reviews. I checked out some of the online reviews for the vet, which I've chosen. You can also look at, uh, you can talk to previous customers of theirs, go on the internet and just message them on Facebook if you want. You can also go and visit them in person and see what their office is like. So the vet which I chose, when I talked to the vet and when I visited his office, he seemed pretty good. The microchipping is simply just inject the dog's neck and then they'll give you a barcode just like this. So as you can see, there's a microchip barcode. So that uh, microchip number can be scanned through a reader, uh, through the chip in the, which is planted into the dog's neck. Um, so my dog's name is Ruby, she was born on 11th of July 2014, she's a female Labrador. Uh, you've also got to get some vaccinations and things like that done. So we also measured her weight, her weight's 23.7. We've given her a medication for deworming. And we've given her a lot of vaccines which are all mentioned here. So we've got canine distemper, Leptospira canicola, uh, given her the rabies vaccine. Anyways, you, for, to, for, because I'm taking her through Singapore with the ultimate destination of Australia, I've got to keep in mind the end result. So the end result is going to be having to align with both what Singapore and Australia want. So Singapore wants the canine hepatitis virus to be vaccinated for. Um, they also want the rabies. They want canine distemper. They want the canine paroviral infection. Uh, and they want the leptos spire canicola for the Australian part of the trip. So you don't have to do that for Singapore, the last one, but it's an Australian recommendation. So, so microchipping is done. Then you've got the vaccinations done. Um, you've also got to check if the dog has internal or external parasites. External treatments are preferred by the Australian government. So you've got to, once you've given her the rabies vaccine, like we've already given that to her, once you've given that tour, you've got to wait for 30 days as per Singapore requirements. And once the 30 days are passed, you've got to take a bl blood sample and you've got to send that to an approved lab for testing. So I'm going to send it to the Australian government lab, which is all the way in Australia. So I've got to ship this box here. This is a cardboard box and on the inside there's a thermocall cooling box, which looks like this. Has some space for putting a few ice packs and things like that. So there's going to be a blood sample from the rabies test. You can put that in something like this container. There's going to be a, a lab tube in it, which is marked with her microchip number. Everything you do has to be linked to the microchip, otherwise the governments of Singapore and Australia won't accept it. And then inside the box, you can freeze a sample if you want, or maybe just freeze these bags for 24 to 48 hours and then put them in here and send it by express post. These are ice packs, I've got four of these. Uh, I, I got these from an Australian supplier, but you can probably also get them in India. However, I just wanted to be safe, so I got them before I came. 
So that's pretty much it for now. The next step will be to get the blood sample posted off and there's a few other steps after that. So for now, just to summarize, <clears throat> what I've done is I have made sure she's not a banned breed. I've made sure I'm taking her through an approved country because India is not an approved country. In my case, that's Singapore. Uh, I've made sure she's microchipped by a local vet here. I have made sure that she's vaccinated for everything that Singapore and Australia require her to be vaccinated against. I've also got the box, which I need for the blood sample because the main thing they want to test for is rabies. So I'm going to put the blood sample and ship it to an Australian lab, which they trust for checking. And then once that test is cleared, I'll apply for the import permits and then we'll go from there. And let's go and have a look at Ruby and so we can see what she's like. So this is Ruby. Ruby has a skin disease. We're going to the vet for her very first time today. As you can see, she's losing skin right there. Her ears have lost a lot of her hair. She likes to play with this bottle. She likes to play with it, but she won't give it to me. She's not very well trained. Okay, here we go. Go get it! Oh, shit! Oh, crap! I actually threw the bottle by mistake onto the road. I'll get another bottle for her. Just one second. Uh, where are we? I know she had another one here somewhere. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Go get it. Okay, come here. Come here, come here. Come here. Come on. Yes, give me that, give me that. Drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it. Drop it. Hey. Hey, drop it. Give me the bottle. Give me the bottle. Come on, give me that bottle. All right. All right, so we'll go waiting for the taxi to get to the vet. It was pretty hard in India to get a taxi which accepts dogs. It's costing me 4,000 rupees back and forth from Kumbanad.